Hey guys, Chrono 16 here. Today is date November 22nd, 2013. Now what what you see here on screen guys is obviously the imagery from Stereo A that was uh, taken back on the 20th and 21st where Ison first came into the frame on the, uh, uh, let's see here, the 20th of uh, this month which is a couple of days ago now and we have common inky there and we have earth and mercury now to give you an idea of what you're actually looking at here a realistic one is instead of me adding stuff to it that's not true um, first off ice is much closer to stereo a and how do we know that because we know stereo a is not closer to the sun than it is to the uh, earth so common inky makes its perihelion on the 21st of November, which was yesterday, meaning that Comet Inky went as closest to the sun as it was going to get on the 21st. Well, Ison is just not entering the frame, okay? So Ison is obviously much closer to Com uh, to Stereo A than Comet Inky is. Uh, and again, we know this because on the 21st, where this frame ends, Comet Inky reaches its closest point to the sun. Okay, and I'll show you that even more here in, in, in a little bit here. Now, just to shoot down some rumors out there that I've heard, okay, Ison is not the size of Earth, guys. <laughs> Ison is, is anywhere from 2.9 miles to 4 miles in diameter. Okay, we know that because of the estimates that they've done from the different techniques that they have to do it over at NASA. So ice is not the size of Earth, okay? If it was, guys, then it would be the size of Earth up here and you would see that in this frame. Well, we know it's not the size of Earth, okay? That's just uh, untrue. Ison's nucleus has not grown in size, okay? Comets' nucleuses do not grow in size. Now, just using complete logic here, obviously if Ice is frozen and never, has never been into our solar system before, then obviously the closer it gets to the sun, more jets are going to shoot out of it. That's why ice and got brighter. That's why comets get brighter because they freeze when they go farther away from the sun and they start thawing out when they get closer to the sun. So if anything, guys, Ison has actually lost some of the material that it gained while it was out farther out in the solar system it hasn't gained anything guys it's going to actually lose stuff before it gains anything so the comet's not going to get any bigger it's actually going to start losing material as it gets in toward the uh sun okay just wanted to point that out real quick now let's also go ahead and go on over to stellarium so i can show you some things on there all right, guys, here we are at Stellarium, which is a free program linked under this video, along with the other um, links that are under this video as well. Now, this is set to November 23rd, which is early in the morning, around 6, 16, 620 in there in the morning. Now, as you can see, tw the, the, the sun rising here, the light from the sun rising up in the morning is already interfering with ice, and so it's getting more difficult to see ice, and even though you can't see it low on the eastern east southeast horizon as ice and continues to plunge toward the sun now what we're going to do here is we're going to start stepping ahead uh by days here okay this is 23rd this is 24th the 25th and then the 26th you're just not going to be able to see ice and uh on the horizon in east and early mornings anymore and as we continue to go ahead toward the 28th ice and ice and gets close to the sun and then on so on and so forth as we go into December Ison starts to come back up again around the second and, and, and then the third and it gets higher in the sky and the higher it gets guys the dimmer is going to start getting because obviously it's uh, heading away from the Sun but you will be able to start seeing Ison uh, in the morning time again around let's go ahead and say hmm I'd say the third I say the third. Around the third would be a good time to go out there and see it. Actually, the second, if you want to get really technical. But uh, the third, you'll be able to see Ison in the morning time again as it shoots around the sun. Now let's go on over to uh, Eyes on the Solar System, guys, which is another free program linked under this video to show you some more stuff. 
Okay, so now we're over at the uh, Eyes on the Solo System, guys. Again, a free program linked under this video. I suggest once you get to the site to download it to your desktop, guys. So that way you'll have the program on your uh, computer and you won't always have to go back to the website. And plus, they continuously update this program now. They've updated it three times in the, within the last week with new data, new information. Now, as we look down on the solar system, from above, you see different probes here and planets and stuff like that. Here's Earth over here. Here's Mercury and there's stereo looking in towards uh, Mercury and the sun there. Now we click on stereo head. And that's how stereo uh, looks as we uh, look toward uh, Mercury and Earth there. And that's how the actual physical probe looks as it hangs out there in space looking toward the sun and toward these comments coming in. Now what you want to do guys is you want to click on tours and features and you can see here as this uh, program pulls down uh, there's Comet Ison they've added to the program now. Now since they've added that you can simply click on the feature section here and what it'll do is it'll load the information, the current information about Comet Ison. Now you have to click on live as uh, once that program starts it's not showing you live data so you have to click on live and once you click on live uh, it obviously takes you to real-time data of uh, Comet Ison as it uh, plunges uh, in toward the Sun there now the real-time live current data here as you can see over here to um, your left uh, it has it uh, over 80 million miles from Earth and uh, traveling uh, away from it obviously at this time and closing in on the Sun at 31 million miles and over 80 million miles from Earth and 31 million miles until it reaches the Sun now the speed relative to the Sun of ice and is traveling at hundred and sixty thousand seven hundred and thirty one miles per hour in accelerating guys okay and accelerate now what we want to do here is we want to look at a comparison of the size of Comet Ison. So how do you do that? Well right here in this quick view menu you simply click on stadium and what that does is it puts a football stadium right next to Comet Ison to show you the size of Comet Ison. Now we all know how big a good size NFL football stadium looks like here so let's go here. Now remember Ison is anywhere from two to uh, four miles in diameter, actually 2.9. And this is what we get. We click on the stadium, and that is a football stadium compared to Ison. Now, guys, does that look like Ison is the size of Earth to you? No, because Ison is not the size of Earth at all. Okay? And I just wanted to show that to you. And you can go again, guys. Don't take my word for it. Actually, don't take anybody's word for it here on YouTube. Do your own research. And that's why all these links are under the video here. So you can do your own research as to how big Ison is or what's going on with Ison. Because there's going to be people that's going to feed that that's into fear mongering. I'm not into that here. Um, some of the videos I do upload kind of scare you because of what they have in them but the facts are Ison is not the size of earth guys and it's not grown in size and it won't grow in size now this is a tough little compact comet and that's why it's still holding together uh, there was some talk obviously about comet Ison breaking up as it started flaring out there uh, when all these jets become active and it hasn't broken up so, so uh, let's hope it continues to hold together there as it was a tightly wind, wind up wound up comet uh, at uh, two to uh, three to four miles in diameter there so let's hope it uh, continues to hold together as it uh, reaches perihelion on November 28th anyway guys I hope this video helped you out to get, give you an idea of the size of Comet Ison and what's really going on with Comet Ison again guys you can't really believe everything you hear out here on YouTube uh, don't even believe me do your own research that's why I have the links under this video if you don't want to believe me or other people out there telling you Ison is growing in size or changing directions, which is totally untrue. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. God bless.